exercise 7 8 section 1 solve the following equations by transposition check your answer question number 1 x plus 5 is equal to 9 we need to take this 5 term from the LHS to the RHS so we can take this 5 to RHS when I take it to the RHS it should be minus 5 so I can write it as x is equal to 9 minus 5 that is h is equal to 9 minus 5 is 4. Second question a plus 10 is equal to 12. Here also we can take this 10 to the RHS so it will become a is equal to 12 minus 10 that is a is equal to 2. Third question h plus 3 by 5 is equal to 4 by 5. Here 3 by 5 can be taken to RHS. So the equation becomes x is equal to 4 by 5 minus 3 by 5. Now the denominators are same so I can directly separate that as x is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1 by 5. Question number 4. n plus 1.8 is equal to 3. Here we can take this 1.8 to the other side. Therefore answer becomes n is equal to 3 minus 1.8 or that is 1.2 fifth question x minus 7 is equal to 4 here we can take this minus 7 to the RHS so it becomes x is equal to 4 plus 7 that is x is equal to 11 question number 6 x minus 4.2 is equal to 11.4 here also we can shift this minus 4.2 to the RHS. X is equal to 11.4 plus 4.2. That is X is equal to 15.6. Question number 7. Minus 12 plus A is equal to 23. So this I can write it as A is equal to 23 plus 12. 23 plus 12 is 35. Question number 7. P minus 2 by 7 is equal to 4 by 7. So this can be written as P is equal to 4 by 7 plus 2 by 7. That is P is equal to 6 by 7. Section 2. Solve each equation. First question. 3y is equal to 9. So to eliminate this y, we can divide both sides by 3. Dividing both sides by 3 we get 3y by 3 is equal to 9 by 3 or that is y is equal to 3 second question 75 is equal to 5y here also we can divide both sides by 5 that is 75 by 5 is equal to 5 divided by 5 or y is equal to 15 third question minus 7a is equal to 84 minus 7a divided by minus 7 is equal to 84 divided by minus 7 that is a is equal to minus 12 question number 4 minus 8m is equal to minus 24 so we are dividing both sides by minus 8 we will get minus 8m by minus 8 is equal to minus 24 divided by minus 8 that can be written as m is equal to 3 question number 5 j by 7 is equal to 5 so we can multiply both sides by 7 so that becomes j by 7 into 7 is equal to 5 into 7 7 by 7 cancels that is j is equal to 35 question number 6 here we can multiply both sides by 2 therefore x by 2 into 2 is equal to minus 10 into 2 that is x is equal to minus 20 in 7th question we can multiply both sides by minus 8 we can multiply both sides by minus 8 so that becomes w by minus 8 into minus 8 is equal to minus 4 into minus 8 or w is equal to 32 question number 8 g by 2.9 is equal to 10 
so multiply both sides by 2.9 so you'll get g by 2.9 into 2.9 is equal to 10 into 2.9 that is g is equal to 29 section 3 write the following statements in equation form find numerals to make true statements so first question is already worked out the sum of 5 and h is 12 so we can write 5 plus h is equal to 12 or solving we'll get h is equal to 7 now second question h decreased by 7 is 13 h is decreased so we can write it is h minus 7 and the answer is 13 so to solve this we can take this 7 to the other side so it becomes h is equal to 20 third question sits less than 2 times y so we can write 2 times y minus sits is equal to answer is given as 32 and solving y answer i will get it as 90 question number 4 if 8 is taken away from the number n the result is minus 4 so we can write n minus 8 the answer is minus 4 using transposition method taking minus 8 to the other side 8 becomes n is equal to minus 4 plus 8 or n is plus 4 question number 5 9 multiplied by r is 36 that means 9 times r is equal to 36 dividing both sides by 9 we will get r is equal to 4 question number 6 q multiplied by 7 gives minus 35 that means 7 times q is equal to minus 35 now dividing both sides by 7 we will get q is equal to minus 5 seventh question if d is divided by minus 4 that is d by minus 4 the result is 3 and we can multiply both sides by minus 4 so it becomes d is equal to minus 12 8th question 8 decreased by 3 times a number so I can write it as 8 minus 3 times a number so it can be any number we can take the number as h is equal to 2 now solving this we will get h as 2 question number 9 the product of 7 and the number h is 42 that is 7 h is equal to 42 or else we can write it as 6 tenth question the quotient of m divided by 5 is 6 that means m divided by 5 is equal to 6 cross multiplying this 5 we will get m is equal to 30 